Welcome back to the Rebirth. Since the base is ready for the Horde and ammo production is going full steam ahead, it's time to strike off into the wilderness and see what's waiting to be discovered out there. I think it's finally time for a revenge mission to Jaden Enterprises, the site of my last near-death experience. And there's a whole town and trader out there to meet as well. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, I'm just down here getting started and there was a cyborg a second ago that came by trying to kill me. So I will take the scrap from him. And then we gotta get started on repair here. We have a couple more days to get this all ship shape and ready to fight. And I learned something in the meantime, and that is that cops actually have a, I don't know if it's like a, a modifier that increases their damage to steel, or if it's a modifier that decreases their damage to concrete and stone. But either way, concrete is the way to go if you're trying to defend against cops. So. Uh, for a second there, I was like trying to maybe get away from the concrete and go more towards steel and now I'm going in the other direction. We got to go away from the steel and more towards this explosion resistant concrete that I've uh, made and I have, I think probably a couple thousand of it that's kind of just sitting back home. I'm getting this weird bug lately where um, things are not making uh, sound at the right time. Yeah, you can see that. That didn't even make a sound at all. I don't know what's going on there, but if things are uh, sounding kind of weird, that is why. I don't I don't know if there's anything I can really do about it. It seems to happen sometimes, and then sometimes it doesn't, and it also seems to happen more so around the base. Anyway, I'm just going to take a minute here to get everything plugged back in. Now I'm going to do a little bit of work on the topsoil, and then we'll get started on our day. And it looks like I'm out of resources yet again, so I guess we're good for now. Let's get inside, and there's a little bit of work to be done in there. Namely, with these bulletproof glass blocks, we got to seal all of this in I think mostly because the threat would be the um the rates that kind of shoot their little I don't know what you call it it's like a little orb and it does a ton of block damage and it also spawns a skeleton warrior so we would like to minimize that happening inside the base here okay so I got all the bulletproof glass blocks in I hope and I just put a fuel saver on the quad bike there and um <laughs> Ramsey when he updated the mod last time he increased the crafting speed of gas by like I think it was 20 times faster which was very dramatic but it did allow me to get a whole bunch of extra fuel crafted so I will set a lock slot for that stuff and just toss everything else away and with that oh I have some ammo crafting over here a little bit more to go on that and I think everything over here is just working on steel let me get this converted over to steel ingots we're probably in a position where we can do some cooking now we're gonna need cornbread oh and that reminds me we need to make a feed bucket that's the one thing I missed out on over at the garden we need wood wood to make a feed bucket also uh, kind of low on iron right now but that's just because it's all going into steel and we're looking good on the tuna fish gravy toast right now. Uh, what was the pumpkin bread again? That was bartering. Oh, let's do that right now, though. Let's do a sell-off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all, I'm kind of all over the place. I was just on vacation last week, so it's been a solid um, probably 10 days at this point since I recorded the last episode. So I basically, I recorded like five episodes ahead, went on vacation. Uh, all of those episodes have now... Uh, been watched hopefully by you and um, so now I'm just kind of like figuring out where the heck I left off anyway pumpkin bread in and we'll start with Rackus okay there we go we're up to 47,000 I think we made a solid you know probably 35k off of that I would say and all of the cell chests are empty um, I don't I don't have a good spot for this right now because this is empty here I don't even know <laughs> what was in there before class and genetics what's the most important stuff that we don't want to lose right <laughs> um, nothing really like I put all the important stuff away in there so all right well whatever just take this out and we'll put it in here right there excellent okay I don't know what to put in it yet but we'll figure that out as we go along that's fair okay and um, was there anything we needed to buy from these guys oh you know what we need to do is we need to uh, gather up everyone's resources show me your inventory because I've had these guys out mining a lot and I don't think I've picked up their inventory for a while yeah look at that almost 13,000 nitrate in there definitely need that oh you're not a <laughs> you're not a miner sorry who's the miner here uh, yeah, over here. Y'all are going mining again. <laughs> uh, let me just figure out what I'm going to be short on. Because basically, bullet manufacturing is the most important thing. And that is going to be held back by brass. Oh my god, they can't even help with brass. That's not good. That means I've got to go get the brass. Where do I get brass? I get brass from loot bags, mostly. Alright, we, we gotta go clear out POIs, I think. Here, send everyone mining and I'm heading out. Right, I'm gonna take the quad bike with me. 
take that and of course we'll take the helicopter i want to go back to the the jaden enterprise tower that we were at before and uh finish that place off hopefully the zombies have not respawned there uh how many days has it been it that was the day before the last horde so it's been uh eight days i don't know what i have zombie respawn set to but we will soon find out i can see a whole bunch of zombies down here oh they're fighting like wolves and coyotes or whatnot oh geez get away from the helicopter also kind of sounds like there's a um survivor here somewhere oh get away from me yikes no 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 we're not gonna get a broken arm here two seconds into this that's a bandit oh my god and old crone dead there we go brass doorknobs there now, if I recall, there should be all kinds of radiators in this place that I was just passing up before. So let's get in here and see if anyone has respawned. Holy crap, nope, 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 they respawned. Crap, man, that means we gotta kill all the zombies. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. That would be a lot of work. Ooh, this thing is fun. <laughs> just, just like airlift all these zombies. Speaking of airlift. Okay, so if we just drop this on the roof, I'm just gonna assume that there's zombies up here. So we'll try to be a little bit cautious about it. Can I just like dive out here? Ooh, that was uh, kind of close there. And get a couple of contact grenades ready so I can take these guys out in one fell swoop. One or two or three, maybe. Ooh, look, look out for that cop there. Here we go. Um, I can't help but notice that I'm moving really, really slow, so let's get a uh, Red Bull into me, please. Thank you. Speaking of, there's just, a, there's so many of them. Ooh, I can see, um, air conditioners. That's probably gonna be good for brass. Ooh, we got cop going up somewhere. Okay, these zombies are so confused, but man, the knockdown power on this thing is really nice. Oh, jeez. Close call there. Alright, it's time. I just have to be a little bit conservative on the ammo here. We ran out of ammo last time, and that was just, that was the end, basically. <laughs> oh my god, the cops, they're being ridiculous here. Here, um, mercenaries, help! Woo! Yep, okay, I'm something. Oh, I have not broken anything, that's good news. Steel armor is coming in handy a little bit. Mercenaries are doing relatively good work. I'll leave them to it, and I'll, I'll take everybody else that's following me over here. Here we go. Whoa, oh, the knockdown is just so good. Look out! Ow! Okay, good job, guys. No time to dwell, though. I need your help to kill everybody else. What's going on here? Get rid of all this. Okay, I probably need to put the steel axe away. I think I decided that the last time. Here we go. Come on, guys. Everybody down here, please. Yep, whistle them down. Let's do this. Oh, yes. Oh, did I see that before? I feel like I saw that before. Okay, just like ditch him over here with um, with the uh, the mercenaries. Um, yeah, just don't mind me, guys. All right, things are uh, getting a little bit heated up here. Not good. I mean, the Molotov didn't help, but... Okay, drone is definitely helping me out a lot here. Mercenaries are going to despawn. There's only two left anyway. And... Uh, Wow, these are just all straight rads. Yep, Fisher Girl's dead. Whoa! We're getting there. We're making some progress. Wow, these are all just like whites, mutated, rads, bikers, soldiers, spiders, and cops. It's literally the worst set of zombies you could expect to have. I did get an abrasion and I broke my arm. Okay, broken arm could be worse. Oh, jeez, look out. And I've burned through half my ammo already. This place is just absolutely... What happened to you? Oh! <laughs> nice job there. Yeah, I do hear zombies. Are they stuck up here? Where are the zombies stuck at? I think they're... They must be downstairs then. This looks like the main loot area, so I'm content to just kind of loot this place and then call it good. Oh, and I can't remember. Did we talk about what happened at the last Horde Night? Because if you remember back at the Horde Night there on... What was that? Day 50... Uh, there were no seekers. Oh, is this where the zombies are? Yeah, okay. Oh, and people keep telling me to get a crowbar. I, I just haven't found one yet. Like, I want to use a crowbar because I've heard they've been buffed, but um, I just haven't found one yet. I don't I don't know if I can craft one. Right, so anyway, yeah, I can't. Uh, the, the Horde Knight, so there was a, a bug. 
I don't know if I've told you this yet or not, but there was a bug basically where the exact game stage that I was, I think it was like 109, uh, <laughs> Seekers could not spawn at that specific game stage. Ooh, I dodged one and I got nailed by the other, I think. So uh, that's been fixed, so we're gonna have a mixture of like Seekers and everything else at the next Horde Night. Uh, just, a, just a weird, weird bug. J only that very particular game stage. Are you broken? Crap, I don't think I have vehicle repair kits on me. I don't. Ah, you're kind of useless. Oh, and there's a screamer. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Not this again. Okay, here's the loot. Ah! Oh, jeez. It's not that. Scared the crap out of me. But uh, it, what I was saying there earlier, <laughs> nine times out of ten, when something is going wrong with this mod, it's just me. <laughs> it's not the mod. Steel flanged mace there. Nice. Wow, all kinds of good stuff up here. Oh, man, I wish I was into shotguns because uh, I love the look of that shotgun. That, um, what's it called again? The Mark 12J Raptor. <laughs> it's even got a cool name. Yeah, if I could just like slow down a little bit and read patch notes and then remember the patch notes, I'd be doing a lot better. You know, it's just like basically Darkness Falls from the first time I played that. I, you know, was confused. I didn't know what was going on. There's so much that's different, so much that's changed, and there's only so much that you can do within the confines of the game and the game engine. So some of it is uh, a little bit counterintuitive and you gotta just kind of like experience it to learn how it works. Here we go. Yeah, I was thinking, I need to get some blueberry pie, because that is basically your looting candy option there. Shotgun turret bundle, not bad. Yeah, I'll take all that. Cool. Oh, maybe do I want to take this with me? <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, sure. Oh, what I really want is this, because these are good for, like, uh, cell chests, basically. Oh, another one. Very nice, Doomsday Hammer, and it's actually pretty well repaired. That was the problem with the last one I got, is that it only had a sliver of health left. Right, well, it was a good idea to come here, I think, but uh, I'm not gonna go down any further, because every step down you go, you have to kill another 35 zombies, and I'm only down to, well, I got a little bit of ammo out of some loot bags, I think, but yeah, not not really in a position where I can um, uh, <laughs> complete this, uh, this, this quest here. It's not even a quest anymore, just like an old... It was like for vengeance, more or less, and uh, I, I'm, I'm willing to now concede that the zombies have got the better of me here. Just see if I can get any of the things that I came for. A little bit of brass out of that. Yep, got a couple of radiators there. There's a trader over here in this town somewhere. That's a cool little, like, uh, dirt bike track. Oh! I've got the 4x4, four four, the, uh, the... What, what's it called? The... the Oh, 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 wait, 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 there's some more radiators there. I've got the, the quad bike with me, so we can go on the, the racetrack there and see how that goes. All right, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm probably gonna die here at some point. All right, let's go! <laughs> see if the zombies can catch me in here. Oh my god, there's ramps and everything. <laughs> zombies just running around like ants trying to catch me here. What are the chances there's a landmine in here somewhere that I'm just gonna accidentally roll over and blow my leg off on? This is like the perfect multiplayer POI to come here with a friend and race. <laughs> oh man, if only I had some friends. Got somebody out here with a pipe machine gun, and if I had to say, that's probably a bandit here in the desert. All right, I win the race. I think I'm done here. <laughs> it's uh pick this up and oh yeah let's get out of here okay right before i found this I, I had noticed that there was a there is a trader out here somewhere i have an opening trade routes right over there let's go check that out oh it's like a wild west town out here and there's a trader at it oh there's some new stuff here that i've never seen before well not probably not the place for there could be radiators i guess like a hot water radiator for brass what we really need also there's doors for doorknobs I don't know if I'm harvesting uh, doorknobs out of doors. I don't know if I ever got that book. Or, you know, there's no books in Rebirth, so I don't know where you'd get that benefit from. Got dogs. Oh my god, there's dogs in the trader? By the way, what the hell is this? Have I never seen this before? This is new. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Light Foo Foo. Why are there so many dogs in here? I mean, I'm not really gonna complain. This is a good source of bone for me. Bone and animal fat. Now, why there are dogs inside of a trader POI, I'm not sure. That would be an interesting kind of tactic to defend the trader. Or maybe the trader's like being held hostage or something. All right. Whoop. Hello. Whoa. Spiral stairs really weird me out. Oh, it's like. <laughs> it's like a spiral, but it spirals back around. Oh, what's up, Bobby? Oh, my God. You got a dog right behind you, bud. Look out. Look out. Look out. Kill the dog. What the heck? Are there any more dogs? 
Holy crap, there's a whole bunch of traders down here. And a whole bunch of dogs, too. Okay, who wants to uh, tell me what you got for jobs? Let's go over to Bobby here. I don't know if I've met Bob yet. Let's get a job. Oh man, he's given us jobs all over the place. Oh, Terminus. Whoa, Terminus from The Walking Dead. That sounds really cool. Also, we've got the prison from The Walking Dead. Herschel's farm from The Walking Dead. <laughs> I've seen that one before, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got the L4D Left for Dead Baby Tunnel, and this is by Crater Creator. That's um, a fun pimp staff member at this point. Wow, all kinds. Area 53? Whoa, okay, that's um, that's sounding pretty cool. Let's check that out. Yeah, so that reminds me, Crater Creator, he's uh, he's kind of running the um, Alpha 21 streamer weekend event thing, and so I'm like signed up for that. I'll be doing that uh, to try to bring you guys a little bit of coverage there as we kick off the Alpha 21 weekend. Um, so as of right now, the... Okay, that's right over there. That's really quite close by. In fact, we must have seen that. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, in terms of the Alpha 21 streamer weekend, so I think creators will get access on Friday and we'll have Friday, Saturday, Sunday to stream and make content for you guys. Uh, I know it's painful, it's unfortunate. I, I do wish that uh, everyone kind of just got it at the same time. Just, you know, I don't know. It feels, I feel privileged basically and I don't like that kind of feeling. I like, I don't know, I don't, I just don't like feeling like I'm special or whatever so anyways i'll do my best to bring you guys some good comment but leave me some comments if you have any suggestions basically my plan is that um uh there's three options i can stream alone i'm going to at least do one stream with other people and it's like nightfall so <laughs> should i really be here right now um so yeah i can stream with others i can stream alone or i can stream on twitch because uh that will be starting up soon uh, they're doing the new Twitch integration stuff, and I like it. I've been watching Wayward Echo streaming uh, for that stuff for a while now, and it's fun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the VOD from all of my Twitch streams, and I'm going to post it to my new VOD channel. So there's like another, uh, you know, I, I made another channel basically, Guns, Nerds, and Steel VODs, and uh, that's where I'll be posting long-form content. And anything that I stream on Twitch will be posted over there, just because... It, um, it kind of damages the channel if you're posting stuff that's not going to be as popular as the stuff that I traditionally post, which is which is what's going to happen if I start posting like really long streams. So uh, in order to protect my channel, I'm going to not do that. So I think we will return here at some point. Uh, Nightfall, oh, just, just really not a good idea, but I, I see pumpkins down there and... Honestly, I do like pumpkins, so. Uh, but yeah, I think just for the sake of safety, let's just return here in the morning. Let's head back home. All right, bringing her in nice and easy here. <laughs> um, I don't know when I'm gonna actually do the, the renewed paint job. I'm really dreading that project. Uh, we just basically got like no brass today either. What a, what a failure. Let's uh, let's try to max the character out. I, th I feel like at this point we should be able to do it. So parkour. Better barter. Yeah, I'll take that one into Lucky Looter. Pack Mule. That'll just let me take an, uh, a pocket mod off of one of my pieces of armor. And that's it, I guess, because uh, he doesn't have any cardio books. Yeah, I guess we're just at that stage right now where brass is like the most important thing. We need the brass to make the bullets. We need the bullets to kill the zombies. The good news is I think I have more AP762 bullets now than I could even possibly shoot off on Horde Knight. Unless you had like the micro gun, which is like, you know, the Gatling gun minigun that has such a high fire rate but yeah with the gun that i have right now i don't think we're gonna burn through all of it so look how much we have right now we have four full stacks holy crap that's a lot so yeah things are looking really good okay so i'm just gonna poke around tonight and do some repairing get some stuff crafted we need to work on some like you know skeleton warrior mind control potion stuff i'll try to sort through all that and uh, we'll pick things up here in a couple of hours at daylight Okay, so just cracked morning there. I decorated downstairs last night, so we can take a quick peek at that. So it's just a little bit more filled in down here, and uh, the walls are kind of covered up a little bit. I think it looks okay. Not too bad. Got some plants down. Don't forget to water them. And it looks like all the forges have run cold because uh, I'm basically running low on resources. I did have Neuro last night repair the base and he didn't say that he was missing any resources. So I'm going to assume that he was able to repair everything. They are currently out mining right now and we should be good on resources except for brass. So that's going to be the goal for today. I was just coming over here to pick up my 10 mind control brews and try to decide what I'm going to do with that because our options are... Uh, we could make the potion. Where's that? Yes, mind control potion. I do like these 
a lot better because the mind control brew you have to be so close to the zombies and um i just feel like if you're gonna hit a zombie <laughs> you might as well you know kill them while you're hitting them versus convert them whereas the mind control potion that gives me like a ranged option so I'm going to switch those over into potion form. And we do have the ability to perhaps make a couple of skeleton warriors. Skeleton warriors, not a bad... Oh, the skeleton army. I forgot about that one. Oh, boy. Yes, I do want to play around with this. Uh, okay. I still have difficulty wrapping... Uh, so what we want here are potions. Murky water. Right, because all of those were destroyed in the fire. All right, give me a minute to sort all this crap out then, because I need empty potion vials. Fill them up with water, and then for one skeleton army potion, it takes one ingredients for skeleton army. Well, I made 20, so we'll just make 20 of those. That'll take a couple minutes. I got the vehicles fixed up last night, and I think I wanted to do a little bit of cooking here, because we have enough to make a couple of blueberry pies, and uh, I think I said earlier that these are basically your... Uh, whoop, we're gonna need fuel for that. Yeah, these are basically your uh, eye candies now. This is plus 25% to your loot stage. Wow. I did make up some books last night. These were like the blank books that I've been kind of stockpiling for a while. So that should top us off on, um, not parkour. We need one more into parkour. That should be good on cardio and that's good on treasure hunter. And I believe all we have left now is one more point into parkour and we've completely maxed everything out here. So for the whole last week, it'll just be like enjoying ourselves as a fully maxed out character. Okay, there's my potions and just turn those into... Oh, geez, there's just... Um... <laughs> I always have difficulty in this menu here. There's just a lot of words. Right, we want the 20 uh, vials of potion skeleton armies, something like that anyway, right? And um, yeah, I'm going to wait for that because uh, on my hotbar now, I'm going to start carrying the mind control brew and the, um, the what's it called, the, the skeleton army so that if we ever run into a situation like we did at the Jaden Enterprise again, I'll have something, you know, I'll have a potion I can turn zombies onto my side, I'll have an army that I can summon, uh, you know, I won't always have to have allies with me, I can just bring them in my tool belt. And speaking of that, I got rid of the axe and the pickaxe. And I'll probably just kind of rearrange things here so that uh, I have easy access to the things I will really need. Okay, so for now, I think six skeleton armies will do. Let's hop in the helicopter. I think I I put the four by I put, I put the quad bike in the robotic drone because that makes a lot of sense, right? He does have the expanded cargo mod, so you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's head over to uh, that was like an army base or something over there. Let's go check that out and see if we can harvest any brass out of it. So as we're rolling in here, I've been doing a lot of work. So I was on vacation, and in case you're not following like the community tab, I went to Sedona, Arizona. It's basically my favorite uh, vacation destination spot. Uh, me being from like you know temperate northeastern United States, it's really nice to go and see the desert. And you know, of course, it, it, <laughs> I was deployed to the desert when I was in the army, and uh, yeah, that was not very fun. But being on vacation in the desert, <laughs> a completely different ball game. Oh my God, it's a baby fox cub! Wow, that is super cute <laughs> oh that's so cool uh where's your mom not sure but uh there's a whole bunch of survivors out here and that's a bandit actually max corner running straight for me whoa that was brutal and then we got uh oh look out cordell i think over here what's your name cordell batten help him out oops sorry did i do that or did the no the zombie had shock hands i think holy crap <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Good stuff. Anyway, so uh, while I was away, I got all kinds of inspiration for the next series. And so the only thing I'm ready to divulge right now is that the next series will be a desert playthrough. It's been, I don't know if I've ever done a series where I lived in the desert. Uh, maybe not since my very first series, which was the, the Vanguard series. That was a couple years ago. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and hit it here. I guess we're as ready as we'll ever be. All right, let's do this. Start by getting that out of the way. All right, where's your radiators? Whoop, that's not a radiator. All right, Cordell, if you want to come in here and help, uh, I would appreciate it. Watch out for the fox cub. Protect that thing at all costs. Oh boy, I'm kind of on fire right now. It's not the serious kind of fire though, so I'm, I'm, I'm very stingy about my 42 murky waters. So if I'm just on kind of like a mini fire, I'm okay with that. And oh, those are landmines, look out. So this is called Area 53. All kinds of resources here, too. Um, I, I don't know what I think about the airplane here. <laughs> uh, I've seen better, I'll put it that way. Not too bad, though. 
Uh, a for effort. What was that noise? Did you hear that? I swear to God, I've never heard that noise before, and it's really freaking me out here. All right, all right, is there a special zombie here somewhere that's making fancy noises? Was it you, Cordell, that made that weird noise? You wanna come in here? I guess I could allow that. Come on in. Oh, was it the grudge over there? Is she the one that makes that weird noise? I'm gonna just listen here for a second. Get rid of you. Ow. This is Waif here. Ow. Yeah, I, I don't really know. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a definitely super fire there. Nope. Or was it you, Cloud Z? I, one of these zombies is making weird noises, and I, I'm not gonna sleep easy until I figure out what the hell was going on there. Oh, hello there. Take care of these guys. Oh, he's fighting a snake. Oh, and in fact, everybody is far more interested in the snake than they are in me. I'll allow it. Ah, yes, the pumpkins and stuff. This is what I really want. Three pumpkins apiece. Nice, because there's so many things that, that are uh, good to make with pumpkins, like pumpkin bread and pumpkin cheesecake. Uh, of course, we got lurkers from outside, though. What's new? Ah! Crap! Sorry about that. <laughs> Didn't mean to kind of chew your face off there with the auger any worse than it already is. Hello there! Where'd you all come from? Making me burn through all my ammo. Holy That's shit. more like it. Nice. And with my rage skills. There we go. Okay, well, since I'm enraged, I might just kind of run in here all willy-nilly, right? And try to get a couple of kills to keep it going. It's hard to beat that. What is it? Plus 50% or is it plus 100% damage? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've uh, been playing the game, right? Good to get a break, though, once in a while. Here we go, I got a radiator here. We'll get that in just a little bit, but uh, that's basically all that we're here for right now. Okay, I am abraded. Careful not to uh, get a fracture or anything. Oh, I don't have the lockpicks anymore. Right, got rid of those. Don't need them anyway. The auger is more than enough. Whoa, look out. Ah, they're pushing me upstairs. Damn. Oh my god, I love this thing. I suffered through so much just using the regular old scythe for so long, and now I'm rewarded with this thing. Man, the Reaper. I don't know if the Reaper, how it compares to the other, like, top class weapons, but uh, I'm really, really liking this. Okay, beer's good for drinking, and coffee is good for stamina. Ah, this, this black dot glitch. I wish I knew what caused that, and I do hope that they fix that someday. They hopefully will, because they're redoing how windows work. They said in the uh, live stream that windows will no longer be entities, they'll be blocks, basically. Uh, so I don't know what that means, but basically they said that uh, it's going to be a part of the world mesh and that it's going to help performance, so hopefully that will be the case. Come on, crowbar. Nope, but I got a new reaper, which is... Uh, I'll check it in just a second. Who's this? Don't forget, I'm collecting these gun safes. There we go. I don't know where the rest of the zombies are at this point. Maybe it's time to loot up. Are we done? No, oh, we still have to clear the area. I don't see any zombies on the compass. Yes, I do. They're way, way off this way. Are you the ones over here? It looks like they are. I think the snake might even be one as well. Oh, jeez. Look out. Deep laceration. Okay, get me some safety and first aid kit. Still looking for more zombies. Was there like an under... Oh, wait. Inside the plane. I bet that's where they are. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Hello? Yeah, here they are. Arlene, you bitch. God damn it. I got another deep laceration. There we go. That was not it either. Okay, this is cool. It's like a little cargo net mesh kind of system there. I like that. It's good touch. And whoops, that's just not a zombie. Okay, the plane is clear, unless there's uh, somebody up on the top here, which no, there's not. All oh, right, I forgot I was harvesting <laughs> pumpkins there a second ago before I got sidetracked. And, uh, oh yes, yeah, I, I haven't even seen the main loot yet, so we're probably getting there. Oh yes, you know, Area 53 wouldn't be in Area 53 if there wasn't like a big underground portion, right? And we will circle back for the rest of the good stuff. Like, ooh, M92 pistol. Got to take a look at that. I don't think I've seen one of these before. This is just... Oh. Sound is so good. I really wish that um, there was a... I think I've, I've mentioned this before, but the thing that this mod needs is um, you need to be able to have a secondary weapon. So your primary weapon 
is like your long rifle here and you get a secondary like a pistol class um of course this mod is still in development i'm sure there's a long way to go and and ramsey needs stuff like this ramsey's the mod author by the way in case you didn't know that yeah so um he needs this kind of feedback uh, people that have played the mod for you know going on 60 days so that he can figure out what it needs and what it doesn't need what needs to be fixed what needs to be added things like that and uh, the mod is definitely increasing in popularity. If you look at like Ramsey's YouTube channel and Ramsey's Discord, like he's getting all kinds of people playing the mod. You know, definitely a lot of love for this mod right now. And so uh, I'm sure Ramsey will take that feedback to heart and uh, come up with some solutions there. And here we go. We're working into, oh my God, it's a UFO. And uh, wouldn't you know it, there's some rads as well. Yep, yep, I've woken them all up too. Okay, um, just maybe get some fire down there for those guys and uh, soften them up just a little bit and get me some Red Bulls so I can run. And uh, how about we test out the Skeleton Army? Oh my god, I got five of them. Fight! Okay, I, just, uh, I totally just ran by everybody to come back down here. Everyone's up here fighting. Look at them all! This is so cool! Okay, I'm gonna hide on top of the sandbags and just watch this happen. Here we go. This is the big fight right here. <laughs> Kill! Yeah, they're they're doing good work. I mean, they're slow because, you know, they're melee and they're not really, really badass like I am. But, um, hey, it works in a pinch just to have, like, uh, some, some distraction zombies, right? All right, guys. Excellent work. And, and how long do you guys last for? Do you guys... Are you with me until you die or... Yeah, I might want to just, like stir up some zombies if I can and not get pinned in here. <laughs> oh, that was super close. Okay. Yes, stir up the zombies and yes, don't uh, don't block me in there. I think I can actually just path right straight through them anyway. So, right. Everybody with me, there's our main loot. Come on over to the uh, skeleton uh, warriors here. I'll even actually do a potion if I can get these guys clustered up properly here and we'll turn them over to our side if it's if it's possible. I'm not sure, like, where the cutoff is. Like, can I get rads? Can I get ferals? I can get everybody. Look at that. <laughs> this is fun, man. I like this a lot. Uh, it's... I guess I, um... I didn't use this very much early on because if you let all your allies do the work for you, you can't level up, like, your class very well. But really, in a pinch, this is what you need. Anybody in there? Yeah, oh, she just completely clobbered that guy. Uh, so the bad news is I'm gonna have to actually kill all of these guys, so... Let's just start working on that. Actually, I think they get full health when they convert back. Maybe, though, I can kill them while they're turned. Oopsie, he's just done. He's he's retired for the night, I guess. Yeah, go ahead and, um, there's a cop that's gonna blow up there, and... Uh, oh, there we go! They've all converted back over. Yeah, and they're full health, too, so that's, that's how that works, I guess. No matter, should be able to handle it myself and we're good where it's still not clear though huh okay there's got to be some more zombies here somewhere maybe here we go are you the last guy nope nope what about you not you i guess i'll take the main loot while i'm here got a good mark 14 there and who needs an axe when you got this thing there's the heavy titanium flanged mace Wow, here we go. Good stuff in here. Blade trap bundle. We're kind of running low on blade traps, so I'll take that. Not that they really do anything at all, but whatever. Okay, well, one thing I need to do is stash the inventory, and the other thing I need to do is find the last zombie. Uh, this could take a while. In fact, I might have actually parked too far away to go stash the inventory, which is kind of a bummer. What I could do is just uh, sacrifice this to stash my stuff inside. Oh, here we go. I've just been like looting through here for like the past several hours. Like, where is this last zombie? And yeah, I just checked the rooftop and there's a whole bunch of birds and crawlers up here. So I think hopefully this will do it. Oh, look out. Yep. Ah, oh my God. Total ambush here. One more crawler, please. One more. Oh, nope, there's more up here somewhere. Okay, so what, what was this anyway? Oh, oh, geez, I almost fell down there. No, I got max parkour, so I'd be fine anyway, right? <laughs> Look at this helicopter. Oh, it's so ridiculous. Okay, I can see markers over here. Oh, so in the tower is one. I did not check this tower, did I? Yep, yeah, here's, here's the guy right here, one of them. And another one. Is there a tower over here I missed? There's... What's going on here? 
I've, I've been over here before, certainly. Oh, maybe not. Hello there. All the good names are in use. And that was it. Good, I still gotta head downstairs and loot up though. There's a whole bunch of loot I left behind. Okay, anyway, at this point, I think I've, I've pretty much, you know, salvaged out anything that I really think that I need. And I think we can get out of here and head home. What are these zombies doing lurking around my helicopter? Well, whatever the reason is, stop hitting it. I just repaired this thing. A brand new fresh paint job on it. All right, and we are off. Pretty cool place. Oh, we gotta get our reward too, don't we? Yeah, all right, I'll meet you over there. It's the same stuff every time, isn't it? It's the genetics, the weapons parts, and the large ammo crafting bundle, as well as a couple of, you know, much less significant things. All right, well, that's it. I guess I'll save, I'll save uh, getting a job in, until we're ready to actually do another job, which is not tonight. I think tonight what I'd rather do is just kind of lurk around town here and continue gathering up some brass. Got a big old Wild West town. There must be all kinds of doorknobs and radiators around here. And uh, I wanted to start off in that place right there. And I could also probably get a little bit of free corn here while I'm at it. There we go. Get out of here. Okay, Duke Patrol. The Duke Patrol, okay. This is kind of a custom POI. I do like the looks of it. Let's head in here and see what's up. Oh, lots of zombies are up here. Is that gonna work? Yes, it worked. There we go. Too easy. Give me that fire extinguisher if I can have it, please. I cannot have it, I guess. Little wall safe here with Stormbreaker. Oh, is that from like the Marvel comics? I just watched the, Avenger <laughs> the Avengers on the airplane when I was on vacation. All right. <laughs> come on in here, guys, or I'll, I'll come on in here and take care of business here a little bit. There we go. And last one. Right, that's what we want right there. Bl brass radiators and brass doorknobs. Ow, whoa, hello there everybody. Where did you all come from? Oh crap, the, the evolved zombies are opening doors on me. Oh, that freaks me out, man. All right, I can get two of the lights out of these things too. I forgot about that. Okay, give me those then. What is wrong with this guy? Ted Sheckler is like a freaking statue up there. Oh, we still gotta kill those types of zombies too, anyway, for the trade aura. And then we're still killing bikers there for the, um, uh, armor, or is it, uh, what is it? Armor penetration or, yeah, something like that aura. Oh, look, stocking up on these guys. Bunch of skateboarders hanging out here in the Wild West. Kinda surprised the amount of radiators in here, given that, you know, this is the desert. You think we were in the friggin', you know, Rocky Mountains or something like that. Whoa, there's a whole bunch of good stuff in there. Look at all this stuff. Titanium long dark blade. There was the, the jackal assassin knife. Bunch of weapon parts. Cool. I feel like I'm getting to a point where I can craft a lot of other weapons too. So we might, might have to look around and see like what's the most valuable weapon I can craft and start making a couple of those instead of just making like piles and piles of the scar light or whatever it is that I'm carrying here. And scar light, scar heavy, scar light. I think it's, you know, technically if it's firing 7.62 though, it's the scar heavy though, right? Ooh, that's gotta hurt. There we go, rampage, nice. I can start running through here now. Whoop, look out, and it's nightfall too. Not that, that I don't think that makes uh, too much of a difference. All right, how are we looking on main loot here? Uh, oh, hello there, Thomas, look out. Okay, I don't see a main loot yet. We got a ways to go though. How are we getting up there? There's a staircase. Check this, and then, yes. Oops, a couple more things to check here. Yep, nice, Oh, look out. Yeah, so I'm just kind of running in from outside now and not fire immune, unfortunately. Okay, ooh, what's that? Oh, the G36 C Meg. I think I have checked that out before. I don't mind checking it out again, though. Holy crap, oh yes, this is the one that was really cool. This is so nice. All right, I'm using this for the big boss fight up here, if there is one. Oh, love it. Okay, looks like that was the main loot, and there is a tier three loot stash. Maybe some more stuff up there, not sure. Okay, not much there. What do you expect though? Tier three in the desert, uh, not terribly exciting. Okay, it's pretty cool, it's just a, kind of a tower up here. Um, are those? Ooh, 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 ah, whoa, ow, whoa, crap, what happened? What the hell was that? 
The whole thing was held up by a satellite dish. <laughs> it's crazy. And wow, it collapsed the whole rooftop. My goodness. Duke's patrol, huh? Well, the Duke needs to hire some better engineers, maybe. And now the place is on fire, so... Yep, that's our cue. We gotta get out of here. This place is doomed. It's probably your fault there, nerdy gnat. Whoa! Look out. Oh, another one. Yellow boy. Alright, are we good here now? Can I freaking catch my breath here for two seconds? No. Ah! Okay, and that was it. I don't think I need sand. Let's get out of here. Okay. Into the air. Yep, that place is toast, quite literally. Right, I think that we will be good on brass now, so let's just head home and see how we made out today. Yeah, so just flying around here, there's a Stallion's Den amusement park, there's the Eden Mall, there's um, a big mall here. I think I've been there before, like long, long ago in the past. There's like a military installation down here. So this map is called the Wilderness Project, and uh, the purpose of it is to basically put a lot of interesting stuff out in the wilderness instead of just having a bunch of like, log cabins out in the wilderness so it kind of gives you more incentive to get out and explore and cover more of the map so i think from now on uh there's something down here i'm not sure what that is uh from now on i'll probably try to get my quests from the traders that are really far away from us and so we can get some quests to these really fun places like we did today all right man let's have a look at the loot hall here just a ton a ton of stuff to go through and i just did the sell off too so let me get all this stuff organized and i'll catch up with you holy crap in uh, maybe more than a little bit. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. All right, I think everything is put away and I should have the rest of my skeleton army potions right there. I did craft up, I think the last point and that's gonna go into parkour. Yes, one more into parkour and we're done. The character is now fully, fully maxed out. Except for, you know, our class, which is actually lagging really, really far behind. We are currently eight, level eight now in the Witch Doctor or or are we level seven and we're progressing to level eight? It's uh, it's not, it's confusing. So I think I am level eight. We're progressing toward level nine. We just need to get tactical rifles up a little bit more. Should make some good progress toward that on Horde Knight. And at this point, I don't see that like our black magic, it's just all about like increasing percentage modifiers. Our tactical rifles, same thing, just firing faster, uh, penetrating more armor. And with the scythes, I can craft the reaper at level eight, but you know, we're, we're doing well on that. In fact, there was the other reaper that I found, which is just checking here. Uh, wow, significantly worse than the one I have, like dramatically. It loses, uses less stamina, but um, holy crap, the damage is so much better on the one I'm using. Okay, so that should just about do it. I'll have to start coming up with a plan for tomorrow. We gotta send all these guys out mining, gather up the resources that they have. Uh, just another reminder about the streamer weekend that's coming up in a, probably a couple of weeks, and so I'll be streaming with other people. I have a crew that I've invited to come stream with me, and uh, so it'll be just kind of similar if you were here way back when we did the Alpha 21. Uh, you'll you'll kind of be aware of what we're going to do there. Basically, it'll be like a seven-hour stream, streaming the first seven days. I will also be releasing episode one of my new series, um, the day that the live stream starts, or the day that the streamer weekend starts. So that'll be a released on Friday, will be like basically when the embargo is lifted there. So definitely expect that. I'm already working on the, like the whole series concept, the, the base design. I'm working on uh, hiring a voice actor to do the introduction to the series. So I'm excited to do that, to show you all what that's gonna look like. And I'm hoping to be able to do uh, some commissioned work for the Fun Pimps. I have extended an offer to them to, uh, to produce some content for them. So stay tuned for that. Fingers crossed that that uh, goes well and that they're receptive to that. They were very receptive in the past asked to me um, doing the interview with uh, Rick and Joel. So, you know, hopefully the I'm in their <laughs> good graces, so to speak. Well, anyways, it's almost morning. So I'm basically just going to figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. This this is Horde Day. So basically it's going to be making final preparations. Got to get everything hooked up and maybe start try to slap a little bit of paint on here before it all kicks off. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.